Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Cask and Pew for Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today it's a Texas classic, smoked barbecue brisket. Be sure and stick around. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. What we have here is a 12, about a 12 and a half pound USDA prime beef brisket. So let's get into this guy. I always like to flip it to the uh, fat cap side. That way when we, oh, I take this off first, a little flap. That way if we cut into it going this way, it doesn't damage the meat side. Or some call it the presentation side. Plus it makes it easier to get into the, uh, the package without spilling bunch of juice everywhere there we go nice and easy so i'd like to keep uh, the fat cap about a quarter of an inch um, the butchers did a pretty good job on this one but we have a little bit of work to do we have a flap right here that just needs to come off because that's just going to burn set that out of the way over here um, and that's where i ran my knife through i think which is totally fine because we're going to round that off anyway i'm not even going to bother with that uh, i'm going to clean up this edge uh, the point looks good. There's a little bit of excess fat right there we'll trim down. So anyway, we'll get to work. And, uh, ooh, look at that. Definitely needs to come off. And you can save all this fat and uh, put, you know, put it in a pot on your cooker, on your stove or whatever, and have yourself some uh, rendered tallow. For those of you that don't know, this is the flat of the brisket, and the point starts about right there. The point is your uh, fatty cuts, and the flat is gonna be your lean cut. So if you ever go to Texas and you're getting some brisket, they'll ask you if you want fatty or lean. And now you know where it comes from. You're welcome. <laughs> that's just gonna burn and get dried out. And we're not real thin right there. Uh, this is a pretty good cut, but it's still oddly shaped. So we're gonna take our knife, make a score mark, and just follow that.
we're good on this side. So let's let's do some work over here. We have that weird point right there. Follow along. There we go. Put that with the pitmaster snack side. We're good to go on this end. Let me flip it over to the presentation side, meat side. This big thing, that always needs to come out. Doesn't render, it's not even good for sausage making. It's just pure hard fat. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Uh, we'll clean up some of this stuff. You can spend a lot of time or a little bit of time doing it. Um, I'll probably do split the difference and spend some time. The reason I say that is because this stuff doesn't really matter too much if we're cooking backyard, you know, just for friends and family. If I was in a competition, I'd clean all that up. And the reason for that is because the judges only get one bite of your product and you want to make sure that they don't get something chewy. All right, as you can see, there's a kind of a horn right here. Some people will cut that off and use it for burn ins. It's kind of what they do in Kansas City but we're doing more of a central Texas style. So we're gonna get rid of this hunk right there cause that will burn cause it's, you know, kind of sticking up. And luckily it's on the point end. So if you get into the meat, there's plenty of marbling as you can see right there. So it's not gonna hurt you at all. Matter of fact, it'll help you. It's gonna give you that aerodynamic shape that we're looking for. And there's still some fat right there. I want to get into that trim it down so that seam just runs as you can see just kind of runs right through the end right there okay that's looking good enough so we're going to hit it with some well, as people affectionately say w sauce worcestershire is that right yeah i think so spread it nice and evenly this is just acting as a binder for the rub. Doesn't really impart any kind of flavor on the brisket. Maybe a little bit, a little, maybe a little saltiness, but. All right, I've been working on a new rub. Um, it's pepper based. 16 mesh ground black pepper, coarse salt, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and a few other little things. <laughs>
next thing we need to do is just put her on the smoker. All right, we're going to run about 275 degrees on the Blaze Kamado. We're using Royal Oak Lump Charcoal and some cherry chunks. We put our thermometer in about the middle part of the brisket. Try to make it compact and shapely. All right. We're going to check back in about two hours. And we're not going to open the lid one time. All right, folks. We are back. An executive decision was made uh, to cook this thing at about 300 degrees, which we're rolling in right about 300 to 306. We just wanted to be sure and get this done in time for a late dinner tonight. So um, let's take a look and see what we got. All right, it's looking good. Maybe a little bit right there, starting to crisp up a little. So we're gonna hit it with some apple cider vinegar mix. When I say mix, apple cider vinegar and water, 50-50. So we'll give this a good spritzing. And this really just helps to make sure that nothing gets too crispy. It will add a little flavor too. So we'll let this roll uh, for about another hour, come back, check it. We're probably getting close to time to wrapping. The internal temp is showing 163, so it's cooking pretty fast. So that is a prime brisket. It's gonna uh, have a lot more marbling, uh, intermuscular fat, so it'll cook a little bit quicker than what a regular choice or select would. All right, we have some audio difficulties. Uh, for some reason, audio was not recorded. Um, so right here, we're just checking to make sure that the brisket is looking nice and uh, has the color that we want. Internal temperature right here is about 175. So this is where we decide to take it off and wrap it in butcher paper. Okay, right here, we're wrapping uh, in butcher paper. We went ahead and spritzed it one more time. Uh, we'll just fold over each piece of butcher paper to fit the brisket and we'll flip it over twice once. Uh, the first time you do it, make sure that you uh, have it nice and taut so that it doesn't get all wrinkled up and you want the butcher paper to be you know, pretty tight around the brisket. So you'll see here where I kind of pull it tight and then uh, we'll flip it. So that's fat, uh, meat side up, or I'm sorry, meat side down and then meat side up. So we put the brisket back on just like that. All right guys, thanks for sticking around. So we've uh, really gotten this brisket cooked a lot quicker than what I expected. Uh, we're registering about uh, 206 right now, um, and that's in the middle of the, uh, the brisket, so right kind of where the, the, uh, the point meets the flat. So we're gonna go ahead and, and head over to the uh, Kamado and pull the brisket. I got this aluminum pan here, so we're just gonna let it rest for maybe an hour, and then we'll slice into it. We'll be right back. All right, let's see what we got here. Smooth as butter going in. Oh yeah, yep, just like butter, warm butter. It's kind of the resistance that you're looking for. So we're gonna take this off and set it in that, oh gosh. I'm gonna have to bring that aluminum pan over here. Here we go. There we go, ladies and gents. We're gonna let that sit in, the, uh, sit in this aluminum pan for, I don't know, maybe an hour. No need to cover it up with foil or cover it in uh, beach towels or anything like that. It's warm enough outside this time of year. We can just let it sit there for a little bit and we shall return. All right, guys. So uh, we're back. We got this uh, brisket out of the smoker. Uh, we've let it rest for a couple hours. Uh, we left it in the uh, butcher paper in this aluminum pan. So we're going to go ahead and get it on the cutting board and make some slices and see what we got. We'll be right back. Okay, so let's get this guy onto the cutting board. Get that aluminum pan out of the way. Fight the flies. You know the drill. Oh man, this looks good already. Oh, and keep in mind, I did not add any beef tallow to this particular brisket. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's money, dude. Oh, look at that, that stickiness from the bottom of the paper. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's that fat rendering out. So we'll pour that top of the brisket that's gonna be good for you 
Well, not good for you, but it's going to be delicious. So the bark is dark on this one, which that's quite all right. Look at the jiggle. Look at the jiggle. Okay, so we're going to slice right down the middle. See what we got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looks awesome. Got a good crust here, too. Looking forward to trying this. Got the clap. <laughs> yes, sir. Got a lot of fat right there, don't we? Let's get rid of that. Might be a little fatty right there, but let's go for it. Mmm. Oh my god. Dude, that's so good. That is delicious. And this is the lean in. Smoky, tender, juicy, and delicious. Got a good crust right there, good bark. Nice and juicy, even on the flat side. Mmm, that rub is awesome. There we go. Like I said, that's the flat side, that's the lean side. We'll cut from the uh, fat side coming down. <laughs> that just pulls right away. Again, this is not a competition trim. This is not how we would do comp brisket. This is how you feed your friends and your family. I'm going to take a bite of this end because that's got a lot of the rub, the fat, everything that you want. This is rendered really well. Oh my god. Let's go ahead. Turn this towards us. Cut right here. This is the point side. <clears throat> Some people say this is the best part of the cow right here. So we'll make some just little cuts right there. And uh, let me go this way. Let's take a look at this burn-in piece. Okay guys, this was absolutely phenomenal. If you have a Costco in your area, I highly recommend you go pick up a prime brisket. Um, it's just great. All you gotta do is hit it with salt and pepper, your favorite rub, whatever you wanna use. Cook it at about 250 degrees, up to 300. Uh, once the internal temperature reaches about 165, 170, or the color you like, at that point, go ahead and wrap it in butcher paper let it go until about 202, 203, somewhere in there. Pull it off the smoker. Let it rest for, I don't know, hour or two, two hours preferably. Slice, just like we did here, and serve. It's a great backyard hit. It's classic Central Texas style barbecue brisket. So do this. 
just follow the instructions that are in the video. It's gonna be a hit. If you like what we're doing here, then go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Helps the channel out a lot. We certainly appreciate it. And we will see you next time at Cask and Q or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat.